Isaac Senior. Beneath gas lamps, black night skies, the weary sounds of distant cries. We walk streets, cobbled stones, through darkened alleys, squalid zones. The candlelight misery strains through smudged glass and dirty panes. From lonely rooms and dancing lights that calls out into the night. A lack of hope in dark and shame, lack of night in cold and rain. Rips from ease to an icicle morning. Clear and cold and pointing down, austere spikes hang down as rods or bars in front of pain glass windows. Trouble. Dozy doors snore and swing, ascending steps, taps, footsteps echo. Evidently trying to do our jobs, fingers stain white lead sheets. Movements are traced, inquisitions follow us home into dreams restlessly. Imagination bangs its head on smooth, hard walled corridors, and through an endless, hapless maze of dreams, life's dignity screams in silence. Something that she said. She has so much potential that sometimes got her down. She didn't like her work, but it got her anything. It really was a problem, but she chose to ignore it. Like clothes that don't fit, stubbornly she wore it. In the mad rush, she did a foolish thing. In a split second, a split thought would bring. An indecision, she made a silly choice. She opened up her mouth to articulate her voice. Across the sweet filled room, sounds were drunken. As the drinkers sat and chatted, slumped and sunk. Okay then, here we go. Sentenced to death. Hangs from the gallows of creative writing. Swinging from the gibbet of sentence construction. With a grammar that stands on the essence of her voice. The alphabet hung as a necklace around the vocality of her wordy neck. She wanted to swallow all the letters in quick succession, punctuation as well, but that would have been suicide. 